I need a moment. I, I, I need a moment. That is by far the best DLC I have ever played of ev any game in my life. And if a game has DLC, I try to fucking own it. I don't... I think overall, the DLCs for Mass Effect as a fucking whole, one, two, and three, were amazing. I loved Kasumi's DLC. I loved Arrival. I loved the asteroid mission in Mass Effect 1. We're about to fucking rank these, hold on. We're stopping everything we're doing right now. I have to rank these. Oh no, 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 we'll start with, there are number eight, Zaid. Okay, he's great. Cool. Next up, looking through this, I would have to say the asteroid. Seven, bring down the sky. Omega. If I can do this right. Okay, so th with Zaid, there was nothing wrong with Zaid. I just didn't much care for him as a character. Therefore, his DLC quest was stupid. Bring Down the Sky, I liked it because there's certain elements of it that quite possibly go super well with one of the backstories. For example, so that does bring us up to 10. Okay. Now we gotta do everything over again. How dare you? I'm joking. Zaid's number 10. Firewalker had several bits of it, but you ended up getting the hammerhead, so I was okay with that. Um, it wasn't my favorite. I liked Omega. Omega was a really good way to sort of delve into Arya a little bit more. But I didn't like Arya as a character to begin with, but I liked her a little bit more more than Zaid. So that is why Omega is where it's at. Okay. Now, Overlord. I didn't like how tedious it was. It was an extremely tedious DLC. Don't get me wrong, the story as a whole was great. It was a little tedious. You... Um... Honestly, I think I liked Overlord more than I, I, I liked Omega more than I did Overlord. I liked Omega a little bit more than Overlord. I thought it was a fun DLC. Overlord had a great story. The gameplay aspect was a little lacking in my personal opinion. Because it was just to go here, shoot two things, press a button. Find out some big abomination. That was... Omega, you had to go through, like, several different aspects of it. Of getting onto the ship. And then unlocking things. And then meeting an old girlfriend of Arya's. That was actually a little bit better than Overlord. Now that I'm thinking about it, Bring Down the Sky was better than Overlord. Not... For Bring Down the Sky... I liked the aspect of it because there is the colonist background. And the in the colonist background, Shepherd's Town Mindwar is raided by Batarian slavers. And then Balak ends up to be part of the group that raided Mindwar. So there was that little aspect of like revenge. And I liked that aspect of the story a lot. Hi, Zeusy from the future currently editing said this video and I'm just sitting here counting. 
How many times I said aspect within the same sentence? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new to the whole video world. Anyway, back to your scheduled programming. I loved that aspect of the story. Now, la top five. Kasumi's number five. I love Kasumi. And her DLC was just unique. Okay? With Zaid, we just had to go get revenge. But with Kasumi, it was a heist. It was a heist. Because, for one, Shepard had to dress up and act like somebody else. It went from, like, no combat to hardcore combat. And that's what I really like about Kasumi's DLC thing. I low-key... It is my headcanon that Kasumi and Shepard are, like, inseparable best friends. Like, their friendship is just amazing. I was like, don't get me wrong, Shepard and Liara, great friends. Shepard and Tali, the best of friends. But then, you have the Kasumi and Shepard. It's- that is a whole different, like, brother-sister dynamic right there. That I fucking love. I- I'm sad that Kasumi died because I was stupid. Hi, Future Zeus again. Context. This is based off of my very first playthrough of Mass Effect as a whole. I knew nothing about the series. I didn't even know anything about the suicide mission, so I got- I messed up. And I got a lot of people killed during the suicide mission that I fixed in a personal playthrough. Number four, Arrival. I liked Arrival a lot because I look, I did know slightly about the beginning of Mass Effect 3 before I started playing it. Um, mainly because I watched my brother play it. That was actually one of the things I did remember. I knew that Shepard ended up on Earth in like prison, but I didn't know how it got from the collector base to Earth. And Arrival was like that perfect tie-in. The perfect tie-in. And it's a solo Shepard, so you're by yourself for a majority of the DLC by your, in this mission. And I thoroughly, thoroughly, I think I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna make my first YouTube video about this, but I, I think it was like one of the things I did like a lot about Arrival is no matter what you did, there was not a happy ending. There was no way to warn the Batarians. If time ran out, the Reapers came. There was no way to stop the Reapers without blowing up the relay. No matter what you did, it ended with the same thing. There were no different outcomes. The relay blew up, and 304,000 uh, Batarians died. But overall, top five, it was a great DLC. Layer of the Shadow Broker. L-O-T-S-B. And Mass Effect 2. This one took me by surprise. Because I was actually sad that Liara wasn't part of the main team in Mass Effect 2. That she didn't jump onto the gun to be part of the team to take down the Collectors. Uh, if she would have learned that the Collectors were Protheans, why they were on the Collectors base, I 100% sure she would have exploded. But Layer of the Shadow Broker... Gave us, a, gave us Liara for a little bit, okay? I know I make fun of her, but I love Liara. She's a great per- she's a great character. That is, like, stupid character progression throughout all three of the games, and I can't wait to see the end of Mass Effect 3. The see, she's hunting for the friend that, <laughs> that helped her bring Shepard back. The boss battles in that one was great as well. You know, we, ha we got to fight an Asari Spectre, and then we got to fight a species in the galaxy that is confined to their homeworld for being dangerous? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> like, that battle you had to use melee in. And I fucking loved walking up to this Yogg and punching him in the face. Who wouldn't think that's cool? Like, and then at the end, when Liara takes over as the Shadow Broker, I was shook. I was expecting her to shoot the console and let it blow up. Not for her to go, hey, this is the Shadow Broker, this is my game now, bitch. L Come on! You got extra resources. 
You got to learn some really awesome things about your crewmate. <laughs> I, and don't, the battle before, like, getting into the Shadow Broker base, like, when you're on top of the ship, I fucking loved that. That was cool. <laughs> okay? Number two, Leviathan. I'm Liara Tassoni, and I run this shit show now. <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. The Leviathan story was amazing. We got to meet the creators of the Reapers. I'm sorry. That's just cool, in my opinion. This is my opinion. This is not an official list. This is my opinion. I loved the Leviathan story. Because... After, like, thinking of the Leviathan and then the next Mass Effect games coming out, I know, I know, like, there's an end- I don't know the ending of Mass Effect 3 yet. I have theories, but I don't know the ending. But what if the Leviathans come back in Mass Effect- in the next Mass Effect? That would be cool. Okay? <laughs> they were- I can't stress enough how much I was shook to learn! That they were the creators of the Reapers! They're the reason for the cycle! And that's why they're number two. And it's a given. Number one. The Citadel DLC. That is by far the best DLC I have ever fucking played. Ever. Okay? That entire DLC was nothing but a roller coaster. The clone. The wits, the jokes, falling through a fish tank, the plot twist with Brooks, the party, that, that was fun. I can see myself going back and replaying through the DLC just by itself, making a save point and replaying through the DLC for enjoyment and comfort. Bioware may have done a few things wrong with the series. But they did not go wrong in the, in the category of DLCs. Minus Pinnacle Station. Minus P Pinnacle Station. I look forward to playing it. Once I play through Pinnacle Station, then I'll give you my full thoughts. But see, the Citadel DLC, I fucking love. And I'm working on fixing it so I can have everybody. The moment I get to the point in my Xbox file, um... Where they're, I'm doing the Citadel DLC again. I will be doing it again for you all. On my Xbox. But overall, this is my top 10 for uh, the DLC. I'm literally holding my tongue. <laughs> I'm almost there, am I not? I'm almost to the end, I think. If we're lucky, I might beat it this week. But this is my top 10. I know it's a crime to put Layer of the Shadow Broker below Leviathan. But Leviathan was just cool. Top, it's in the top three, okay? Next, we're gonna talk about ships, but that's for another time. Um, I don't count Javik. I feel like Javik is, shouldn't be DLC. So, he's not included in this, but...